All right, so here's a little video about um, elastic potential energy. All right, and the definition will be the energy stored, okay, due to position of particles in the stretchy thing. Okay, so whatever it might be, a rubber band, uh, you know, I don't know, spring, trampoline, anything like that. Okay, uh, so basically the stretch, oops, stretch or compress, compression of that thing. Okay, all right, and the strength of the stretchy thing. All right, we'll just say it like that because we'll get into this a little bit more next semester. Okay, the strength of it, like how easy or hard is it to stretch or compress it? Okay, and the symbol is going to be EE. All right, and when we look at these pictures, uh, which object stores more EE? Okay, assuming this is the same slingshot, okay, which it may or may assume it is, okay, uh, this one is stretched very far. Okay, this one is not stretched very far. Okay, so A stores more EE because it's stretched further. Okay, because A is stretched further. Okay, that makes it store more energy. All right, and then in uh, the bottom picture, it's a little hard to see, but you know slinkies, like they're super wimpy. They kind of just like, you just drop it and it just like falls, you know, like they're, they're really not very strong. Okay, as opposed to this is a picture of like a car spring, you know, like the shocks in your car. The, I don't know if it's a shock, but like the springs in your car. Okay, so in this case, B would store more. Okay, right, because B is a stronger spring. Okay, it's harder to stretch or compress that, which means that that is going to store more energy. Okay, and you're going to create your own.